Hi, let's see like how to fix our systems are a bit busy at the moment. Please take a break and try again on ChatGPT. Are you getting some kind of error, something like our systems are a bit busy at the moment? Please take a break and try again soon while opening ChatGPT. If that is the case, then you are not the only one as many users encounter such an error by trying to open ChatGPT at the times. ChatGPT is an AI developed by OpenAI that allows users to generate information content though it's a great AI that can help many people it can also have issues and errors in the system let's try to understand what causes systems a bit busy at the moment please take a break and try again soon error on ChatGPT. when you are seeing the error where the system is busy then it means that the system is getting used by too many users at the moment and is not capable of functioning anymore you will be able to enter it after the power player inside the system goes down lower fewer people log in and chat gpt will allow you entry however there can be certain other issues or the problems such as server issues or the browser problems. So let's try to understand how to fix that particular problem. Our systems are a bit busy at the moment. Please take a break and try again soon on ChatGPT. You can first try to open ChatGPT after some time has passed as there might be too many people trying to open ChatGPT at the exact same time. The first method is wait for some time and try again. The first thing you need to check is server status of ChatGPT. If the server is down due to an outage or the scheduled maintenance, you won't be able to use or open the ChatGPT. As ChatGPT is an AI service that requires it to connect to its servers and execute the functions when it is unable to connect to the server. It will stop working and show you the system busy error message. The second method is refresh the page repeatedly. Another thing, simple fix, what you can do is like refresh the page repeatedly. Sometimes the software is unable to load due to some kind of glitch or bugs in its systems. There can be bugs or glitches that stops ChatGPT from opening your device. Your device. So what you can do is like you can just refresh the page repeatedly in that case and see whether it solves the issue or not and it loads the ChatGPT page. And the third method is clear your browser caches. Another fix that you can try is to clear the browser cache for the chat GPT. Oftentimes the browser cache of your browser might store junk or corrupt files that might stop chat GPT from working on your device. You can simply delete the cache folder. You will be able to open the chat GPT again. So if you are using a Chrome, open Chrome, go to the three dots at the top right corner and click on them. Select more tools, click on clear browsing data. Check all the boxes, then click on clear data. And then you are done clearing your browser caches. The fourth method is change your browser. If you are unable to open ChatGPT from the browser, then you can change the browser by trying to open the ChatGPT in another browser. If you find the current browser is not working, then may changing the browser will help you in solving the particular issue. The fifth method is use VPN with the device. As an alternative fix, 
you can also try to use VPN with your device and then try to open the chat GP. Many users have said that they were able to access the chat GPT after they tried using VPN in their system. Some regions might not support chat GPT. In that case, it would be better for you to use a VPN and see whether you are able to open the chat GPT. You can easily install VPN by downloading it or contacting a VPN provider to get it for your device. And the sixth method is contact open AI support team. Wait for some time when you see the system busy error and then if it does not get solved within few hours or the days, you can contact open AI support team or you can send a mail at support at openai.com. After you have contacted them, make sure to tell them the issue and they will look into the issue and they will solve it. The backend support team, they will get back to you and they will help you to resolve the particular issue. Okay, so that's all about this. Thank you.